Welcome to Just the Two of Us Homestead. We are Colleen and Frank, and we live in the perfect size homestead just for us in southwestern Quebec. Gardening, growing food, and preserving is one of our passions. And our barn animals, we love them so much, they're just like pets. And we're so fortunate to be able to live our lives as we do each and every day is a blessing. Hi everyone, welcome back to the garden. Today's goal is to get the brassicas in. We haven't finished prepping all the garden and I'm not worrying about that anymore. We're gonna work section by section, clean as we go, prep as we go, because we're always dealing with rain, like not just a rainy day, it rains and then it's nice, it rains and it's nice, all within hours during the day. So I'd rather get a few crops in at a time as I can. So Frank's just fixing up the landscape. Fab. So I'm going to put the brassicas all along here. And what I do is I just don't go one whole row of broccoli, one whole roll of cauliflower. I kind of don't know why I do this, but I do like three or four plants of broccoli, three or four plants of cauliflower and cabbage. And I kind of do that because... The sun hits the garden at different times. It's always in sun, but it'll get a morning sun, the afternoon strong sun. And I want each of the plants to get the same sun at the same time. And also, if there's a bit of a bug problem, if all the broccoli is together, it could affect all the broccoli versus if I have some broccoli at the front and some at the back, maybe it won't affect the whole crop. So. It's probably just theories in my head, but that's the way I do it. So I think I have plenty of plants. I brought out three big flats that I have, but I also have other ones I started later. I always have backup plants. And if I don't use them, I'm happy to give them away. So I'm, I'll bring you closer and show you what I have, what I'm going to plant with, and then we're going to get to it. So what I'm gonna do in each hole is I'm gonna dig out all the soil that's in there. We're not rotating crops this year and as I'm putting in the bra brassicas, I'll explain to you why. So I have trifecta I'm gonna fertilize with. In this bucket, I have a mixture of compost, the organic vegetable soil and the mycorrhiza um, medium. And here is fish emulsion that is diluted because they're just still little plants. I'm not using the full strength. And that's all I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna get down on my little stool and I pretty much stay down there once I'm down. I'm just gonna roll along the lines. And I'm really pleased how my starts turned out this year. They're actually a bit late going into the ground. I've planted them smaller than this, but hopefully they'll be just as happy. And I believe the sun is trying to come out. Okay, I made it down here. I'm sorry. I find I often hear myself huffing and puffing on the videos and I apologize about that. It's just that it does take me effort sometimes. And what's worse is two nights ago, where I have the mini greenhouse, it's close to our back door, where is our door we use most of the time. And up until a few nights ago, oh my gosh, there's big worms. And up until a few nights ago, we couldn't leave the tomato plants out because the temperatures were still getting too cool at night and every night Frank is the one who brings in all the plants and I always feel so bad so one night when he was uh, putting all the chickens to bed and doing all that I thought I'm gonna surprise him and I'm gonna put all the plants in the house well on my very last trip in the house I tripped over a cement step and I went flying. I did that, which isn't so bad, but the worst part was how it jolted my back and my hip. 
So on top of already not being very flexible, I'm even worse today. But nothing's going to stop me from doing this. So I'm going to do three things of broccoli here. And I think I'm going to spin myself around and do three things of cauliflower there. So let's go. So I just dug the earth that was out of there. I put in a wee bit of my mixture here. And I believe this is the Calabrese or Calabrese. Oh, wow. That makes me so happy. And where's my trifecta? I'm going to sprinkle a bit of that in. I'm sorry. I have to put my leg here for a minute because it's not bending right now. I'm just going to scratch him up a bit put him back in there. Now I'm not going to reuse any of the dirt I took out. We're going to get all the fresh dirt. We probably could have gone a bit deeper. So I have two kinds of broccoli. I'm using Green Magic, which I grow every year and has been fantastic for us. But I'm also growing this Calabrese or Calabrese. And that got good reviews too. So I'm hoping, because last year it got so hot in our spring, our broccoli was the first time it's ever bolted. And the, this new one supposedly doesn't bolt as much. So I'll swing over here a bit. Dig out what's there. Put in a bit of new. Some trifecta. Swoosh it around. Gently pull out another. And he's starting to curl there. I think I'm blocking your view with my leg. I don't think I put the camera in the best place. I'll get Frank to come over and move it. Yeah, two down. So then I'm going to take, I brought a jar out and with my fish emulsion mixture, I'm going to just water right into the hole. Get them off to a good start. There, two down, about 40 something to go. There, I switched to my higher stool because I just can't move around as well. So the reason I'm taking out all of this dirt and not putting it back is we aren't crop rotating this year. And you really don't have to, as long as you introduce a good 10%, oh my gosh, look at those worms, of new dirt, new a new medium or whatever. It's really not necessary. It's more necessary in big commercial farming and stuff. And we have set up tea posts and all kinds of things in the garden. 
and with the landscape fabric and everything, it's just too much this year to lift it all up and lay it all back down. So I'm removing what is there. The plant is getting three new soil things and it'll be just fine. So I'll probably mention that a few times as we're planting because I know people will realize we're putting our tomatoes in the same place, etc. And I'm perfectly fine doing this. If I have blight in my garden, the blight's going to be in my garden whether I move my tomato plants six feet away, two feet away, or ten feet away. It's not going to matter on the grand scheme of things. So all this dirt we'll just put in the compost or use it somewhere else. And now he's got all this nice stuff there. Give him a good drink. It's always hard the first time because the water doesn't necessarily go down the hole. All right, row one is done. There's 22 plants, and I've mixed it up between broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage. I'll tell you all the varieties when I'm done because I don't know them all off by heart right now. And I'm going to start on row two. And I have holes in the middle of the rows where I usually plant marigolds, but it's kind of a waste of space because my plants have plenty of room. So I know I'm going to have extra plants, so I'm going to still put a few extra brassicas in some of the holes in the middle, and I'm still going to put marigolds on top of it. I planted plenty of marigolds, and I like to put them around the brassicas a lot, so I think that's what I'm going to do, because they have plenty of room to grow out, and I can put them on the diagonal this way in the middle. So that's the plan. And the rain is holding off. It's actually kind of humid right now. I'm overdressed, but I'm not taking the time to go in the house and do a wardrobe change. So let's get back to work. I'm so close to finishing, but I'm not. My favorite quote, Scarlett O'Hara, tomorrow's another day. I have about 10 holes left and then the middle that's it for today and tomorrow if there's breaks in the rain I'll come back and plant. I'm just going to leave the, the plants here and their things. They'll be fine and then unfortunately I was hoping to clean up all the extra dirt before the rain but that'll wait for another day too. So I'm happy with what got done and like I said if I can tomorrow come out if not the next day the plants aren't going anywhere. You can't come in, can you? Sorry, not sorry. Especially you. Yeah, you. Here's the lettuce we planted five days ago. Five days, and look at that. I'm telling you that mycorrhiza is amazing. Not all the levels yet, but it depends on the variety too, I guess. But look at that. And here's the daikon radishes. 
and I had really good germination on that. And that was the same day I planted the lettuce. Yep, look like radishes. And those poor little lettuce starts that I put in, some of them are bouncing back okay. Others look like meh, but I have other seeds I can put in there, so they're doing all right. I wanted to show you how the little greenhouse is doing. I have all my tomatoes hardened off. They're not all for me. I have some to give away. And we can now leave them outside at night. The temps still get a bit cool, but it stays warm enough in here. We put a thermometer in there and it stays plenty warm for them. So I'm really pleased with how it's doing. And the only thing left to harden off are my peppers. And then I have squashes and stuff, but they're not ready to come out yet. So it's working really well. It's starting to rain again, so I'm going to keep this brief. But what I can think of offhand was green magic broccoli, the calabrese, if someone can tell me how to pronounce that, calabresi broccoli, amazing cauliflower, snowball cauliflower. And I did a, pink, a few of the pink cauliflower. I think it's uh, Sicily. Um, cabbage, I did early Jersey a few Copenhagen, and this one I don't know off by heart. I did a couple of giant cabbage. I'll try and remember to put that on the screen. I only did a few of those just for fun, but I got everything done. I even put some down the middle, and I still have to put the marigolds, but as always, it's raining again, hence the frizzy hair, but let's not look at that, and that's it. I made a row here because I have Brussels sprouts that I started in the house and I up potted them and then they never did anything. So I just brought them out to the garden and they've just been sitting in pots. And I looked yesterday and they've actually turned into something. So I'm going to put some Brussels sprouts along there. So that's a win because I didn't think they were going to do anything. Anyway, that's it. Time to go in and blow dry my hair, I guess. <laughs> Frank's looking at me. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out with me in the garden today. And until we're together again, take care.